Hello guys, this is Indian Medico and in this video, we are going to see about Simplifren. This is a concise presentation for medical students. The word Sim means together with and Blepharin means eyelid. Simplifren is a partial or complete addition of the palpebral conjunctiva of the eyelid to the bulbar conjunctiva of the eyeball. Simplifren is a condition where addition of the lid to the globe takes place. Now let us see about the etiology of Simplifren. Any cause which produces raw surfaces on two opposed areas of the palpebral and bulbar conjunctiva will lead to additions if the areas are allowed to remain in contact during the process of healing. Bands of fibrous tissue are thus formed, stretching between the lid and the globe. Now, what are the common causes for simplifron? Burns from heat or chemical injury, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, ulcers, diphtheria and operations can lead to simplifron. This is how a patient with simplifron presents to you. Now, what are the clinical features of simplifron? Ocular movements become restricted. There can be diplopia, there can be lag of thalmos, and there can be cosmetic disfigurement. What are the types of simplifron? Anterior, posterior, and total are the three types of simplifron. In case of anterior simplifron, additions are present only in the anterior part. In case of posterior simplifron, additions are present in the fornices. And in case of total simplifron, additions are present involving whole of the lid. Now, what are the complications of simplifron? Simplifron can lead to dryness, thickness and keratinization of conjunctiva and corneal ulceration. How do you treat a case of simplifron? Prophylaxis, that is prevention of simplifron during the stage of raw surfaces can be done by sweeping a glass rod coated with lubricant around the fornices and by using therapeutic bandage contact lenses. Curative treatment of simplifron includes simplifrectomy. It is an operation done to remove simplifron. The raw area created during the operation should be covered by conjunctival or buccal mucous membrane or amniotic membrane grafts. Thank you.